first do it and figure out the details later. <laughs> like Cindy likes to call my barbell the big stick. Texas power baby. Texas, Texas. Texas is the future, baby. Every man Spartan warrior should get a Texas power bar, squat bar. I got the squat bar, 55 pounder. I think you could also get the monster squat bar. That's gonna be my next. I just feel so good. Okay, so how can I do this? First and foremost, only ever, 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 ever work out in the sun. No sun, no life. Long sleeves are good. It's all about the grip. <sighs> Have a funny thought. Real strength is grip strength. It's a little bit wobbly in this cur. I didn't say lavi. Okay, just be careful. Oh, it's fun. Even for a simple workout, this farmer's carry is a very simple and effective workout. The reason I like these high things, this makes everything easier to load. Yeah, Easy loadable is the future. So yeah, just a simple thought. Just put on your pants. Ruhr Ramon. So you can just get close, right? We're supposed to pick it up. Walk it up. And just walk it back. Very simple. Put it down carefully. Yeah, my thought is uh, walking exercises are probably the future. This could be my new ASMR chamber too. My new... Whoa, wiggly. Careful. Okay, same concept. It's so funny, everyone's like, be careful, be careful, be careful. I'm like, it's not my fault, you're a coward. <laughs> the real way.
way to become a demigod. One man, one barbell. Yeah, I think uh, this Texas Power Squat Bar might be my most beloved position. Maybe I actually even like it more than any of my devices too. Okay. Chalk it up. Yeah, so some people ask about weightlifting belts. Yeah, weightlifting belts. No buenos porque. Because, uh, I mean, A, you just don't need it. So from a via negativa perspective, don't use it. And B, people are always going to hurt your back. It's like, yeah, just do some more yoga mobility stuff. You ain't going to hurt your back. Or just do it higher up on the, the rack. Better range of motion. And never trust these CrossFit losers. These, uh, I call them form Nazis. Also powerlifters too. They're not, they're on steroids anyways. And what about straps? I, mean, I think at the end of the day, you can go down left a thousand pounds. Yeah, that's probably fine. But uh, the reason why I'm kind of anti straps too is uh, I mean, ultimately your tenacity, your grip strength is the most critical thing. And your grip strength is strong enough, just chalk up and use the mixed grip, and uh, that should be fine. And we're just doing this. For funsies to become demigods, we ain't doing no loser competitions. Competition for losers. Everyone's taking the juice anyways. Hashtag facts, okay? Buddy caps, my ghetto sit ups, iron grip for the win. So, before I forget, gotta get my flex on. Paradises, guys. LA is paradise. My first company, Paradise Computers, LA Paradise, etc. Cinema Paradiso. Gotta watch that. Hi. Yeah. How'd you have a nice bike ride? Have fun. See you guys later. Yeah, good to be in LA, good to be American. America's the best, USA, USA. I think actually uh, the reason why America makes the best quality stuff, especially when it's made here, is, uh, I don't know, I think American certainly were driven by a profit motive, but when an individual like Buddy Kepps puts his name on it, it's really a sign that they really care. Um, it's 
auto tealic purposes. Make it for the sake of making it because they want to see it in existence. Rather than the Chinese who only care about making money. Facts. Okay. Okay, so stand close. Okay. Nice grip. Also the reason why I think this is quote quote safer to do than traditional exercises because uh, I mean a lot of this depending how tall you are is that it tends to be that oftentimes shorter guys are better at doing deadlift, sumo deadlift because they're so much closer to the floor and you know it's so many factors like your proportions how tall you are, your ankles, your hips, blah, blah, blah. That's actually why weightlifting form is different from women than men because their hip size is different. And uh, yeah, I think doing the rack pull or the more elevated concept, much better if you're tall. How, call, how tall is Air Kim? Air Kim is 5'11", 5'11 and a half, six. If I was on a dating profile today, yeah, I would definitely say six feet tall. <laughs> Always gotta exaggerate. Actually, the my thought is with great entrepreneurship, you gotta be unrealistic. Like, uh, you know, people always salty about Elon saying, "Oh, you know, full self-driving AI is only a a year away." It's been saying the last five years, but. Uh, <laughs> you gotta set insanely audacious goals try to meet them I think life is better so uh, even like Kanye says like better shoot for the stars and if you fail you land on a cloud okay so another concept which is interesting is technically doing a deadlift your legs get in the way so what you could do is you could step over it like, like yay when you lift it up, do forget this Dinny Dinny rings notion. Yeah. So you get better hip drive. Better. Then just the standard straight on deadlift concept where you just put your thighs really close. I mean, this is fine too, but also the pro tip, you wanna do it good. Get your knees under it, top your stand it ups. Oh. Slow it down. Get a little whiplash. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, my thought is don't buy no stupid iPhone, iPhone, phone pro to max, loser Teslas, loser Ferrari, loser Lamborghini, just to spend that 30,000, 40,000. 50, 60, 70, 80,000, 90,000, 100,000, uh, 250,000, 500,000 dollars on weightlifting equipment. Just doing your backyard, your garage. Ideally outside, I think that's where the whole open air concept, the Eric Kim Spartan lifestyle. Oh, if you want to train with me, just shoot me an email, eric at ericim.com. Time, uh, time to do it. Oh, we. Yeah. And actually, I've just found that the best motions are natural, so the higher I go, kind of.
kind of tends towards more efficient movements and positionings of things. So Fex. <sighs> Lower the range of motion, increase the weight. Very simple. It's kind of like a zero to 60 notion too, where it's like, nobody cares the distance. We're always gonna measure, I mean, what, is there a SpaceX Tesla that goes zero to 60 in like 1.4 seconds, maybe? Mm. Okay, chalk it up. Chalk, liquid chalk, powdered chalk is fine. Powdered chalk just lasts a little longer. I like liquid chalk, but just use what you got. Yeah, and I think that's actually a big thing is real entrepreneurs reduce, delete, 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 get rid of stuff, use what you got, innovate, rather than just buying new stuff. And you gotta buy stuff, just buy what's cheap. The I think the Elon Musk idiot index <sighs> price of raw materials minus the markup price. Yeah, you know, cinder blocks are a good idea. Okay. Sun, baby. Easy. Okay, now the fun part is trying to readjust it to be a little bit more here. Conventional, traditional is bad. We have the great, great, greats for my key, key kids. Oh, even, uh, Best way to get your body warmed up. Just use a heavy sandbag. Seems like a good idea. Oh yeah. Paradise, paradise, paradise. Oh, another thing I've been doing is drinking a hybrid of both coffee and tea. Seems uh, superior to just coffee or tea alone. Just do both. Time for more sand in it. Flex progression.
Eric Kim should be the next Marvel superhero. <laughs> Certainly the next Brad Pitt. The new demigods, baby. to go more convention. Let's try this again. Try it again. Also iPhones are bad for your brain. Real successful people have no phones. Just keep your phone locked up in your little compartment when you're not using it. Easy. So beautiful. That way I can get it up. Easy. Okay. Focus it a little later. Bum, 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 bum. Whatever mechanism you could do to get it up is good. 
just time to go back to the gym. <laughs> Can't be fuck with the gym. Make your own gym suckers. It is better to have your own subpar gym that you actually be in the direct light than have to drive and be around a bunch of uh, indoor spaces. Fitness influencer. Yeah. One shot, one tick. No editing. Editing's for losers. That is funny. I found that in order to disparage anybody, to say it like that, it's like that it is for losers. And consequently, it actually will sound like it's for losers. Hmm. Also, you know you're influential when people are probably asking, oh, whatever happened to that guy? Or what happened to Eric Kim? Is Eric Kim on the juice? Nah, bro, I'm high off life. <laughs> are, are you high, high off life? My thought is, I'm make drugs uncool again. Only losers do drugs, losers. Not like drugs are moralistically bad. Just uh, the lower your testosterone. Hmm. That's a good idea. And also like, isn't that the whole reason we're doing all this? Just get our testosterone then. <sighs> Drugs and alcohol are bad because they lower your testosterone, period. Or in other words, comma, alcohol and drugs and weed are for dot 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 losers. Losers. The little squiggly. <laughs> Real men don't. Real men don't drink alcohol, comma, smoke weed, or do drugs, period. Losers. 
พา clean up clean up up ประชีพหลุดมาตรงนี้ yeah also my my critique about CrossFit is yeah around there is just a bunch of form Nazis nobody looks happy everyone's like kind of seeking some sort of self virtuosity through pain and suffering which I think is not a good life modus and uh, the reason you shouldn't trust the crossfit just look at Grant Glassman does this guy even do crossfit? I'm gonna do an expose mm -hmm. Does Greg Glassman even work out? Question mark. Has he even ever touched a barbell in his life? Question mark. The reason why you should never trust CrossFit semicolon. It was founded by Greg Glassman, comma. An old wimpy looking dude, comma who never looks like he has worked out in his life, period. I think he almost treats working out and fitness like pornography, semicolon. He analyzes other athletes and he created his own system, comma, preaching some sort of, quote, functional fitness, end quote, concept, period. Yet, comma, proof is in the pudding, period. If the man has never ever taken off his shirt or doesn't look muscular, comma, what does this say about his program? Question mark. And also, comma, this guy is really kind of a scumbag, period. There has been lots of leaked reports about him making inappropriate sexual remarks to female workers and other people, comma, and also think his low-key racist period. Just Google what he said about George Floyd period. Also, comma, find the leaked CrossFit party flyer, semicolon, all of these doctors in cartoon shapes banging or harassing beautiful busty looking women question mark Or in other words, comma, would you trust a 40 year old virgin who tries to teach you about sexual who has completed his 500 hour pornography watching training question mark? My new definition of pornography, semicolon, doing something or watching something or engaging in something which actually positively discourages you from doing the real life thing, period. For example, comma, late at night, comma, before you're about to sleep or whatever, dot, dot, dot. 
when you turn on Google incognito, comma, or open up Pirate Bay or your VPN, dot, 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 what are you really doing, question mark? If the phrase Reddit gone wild, comma, girls gone wild, comma, NSFW, comma, means anything to you, comma, you know what I'm talking about, period. Or if you know who Maria Ozawa is, comma, let that be the truth ticket period. Help me visualize what Maria Ozawa looks like.
the real life. Incredible. Hug. Is the most masculine man alive? Question mark. How do you get your test up? Don't watch the PR0N.